Hi, my name is Zishan Beg, and welcome to new video. Uh, in this video, I'm uh, demonstrate how to use the range slider, and uh, in this example, I prepared a one simple use case uh, inspired by the demo of Fusion applications. Uh, many query parameters uh, there, like we select the range actually, and it's queries the table, the salary between these ranges like uh, between 14,000 and 3,000 you can restrict that to some uh, 23 it should remove this yes and uh, same goes this like this so uh, I will now explain how I prepared this example uh, first let's go to the J developer in model project I created a employee view object uh, based on entity whatever with the two bind variables like this you can see salary between bind variable minimum salary and bind variable maximum salary and it's coming in the where condition and uh, how to define bind variables you will go double click this view object query tab and bind variable here you will press plus button and you can define the number type bind variable make sure this updatable and it required is checked required means it will link with the query and updatable like you can modify the values and uh, then uh, I created one query uh, view object called salary range vo it's just giving me the minimum and maximum salary from jobs table just to specify the legal range between the input slider for input slider and in the page uh, i created a two column temp i used a two column template drag and drop simple uh, object as a table your uh, and data control and other one is a basic input slider with the minimum range is using a backend bean min range and max range and I'm using a value change listener here called process range slider so let's go to the Java class here we have defined two attributes called min range and max range and uh, with the uh, getters and setters you let's go to the getter and setters these are getter and setters but on the get method I'm calling one more uh, method which is giving me the range of the binding attributes of the salary object uh, you can see this called get range and I'm passing parameter main job salary and here I passing parameter max job salary what this method is doing is going to the page definition file retrieving the salary attribute taking the attribute value and casting it to the number and uh, this is very important because uh, the attribute binding is using uh, this uh, data type oracle.jbo to main dot number and the range slider takes the java dot lang dot number so you have to type cast it and make sure you create the bindings here in the page definition this min salary and max job salary using the salary range iterator uh, here you can see and uh, then I'm going to explain this the value change listener it's actually giving me the new value from this object and then it returns excuse me uh, this returns uh, in this format the object uh, returns in like minimum value comma maximum value so what I am doing is to take the position of the comma and separating the string into two uh, integers like min value and max value here and uh, then I am converting this to the jbu dot number domain dot number type 
and then I calling the execute with parameters operation binding and passing the value to, to min salary uh, value to these parameters and then executing these bindings in the page definition file make sure you create the execute with params uh, attribute uh, method binding like this and don't pass parameter here we are passing their code and you can see two bindings uh, name data values you can see here and we will pass value to with our code from here and we are just simple executing this and the end result you can see like this make sure you set the partial submit true and uh, partial triggers on the table let's this auto submit is true here you can see in the input slider and in table I have set the partial triggers property to this range slider so hope you got this uh, video useful found it and feel free to comment thanks for watching goodbye